program. Let's get on with the show now. From wrestling to table tennis, we told you uh, when Nigeria hosted uh, the 2017 IWTF Nigeria Open, the fourth in its series, a lot of things happened, uh, but they are building stand around a quadri. But it was Omar Asa that went on to win again. The news today says uh, for successfully shedding, uh, staging the fourth edition of the IWTF Challenge Series, the International Table Tennis Federation has applauded the local organizing committee of the 2017 Nigeria Open with a pledge to have award more world title events to Nigeria. Cosmos, this is what we always talk about. If we had not gotten a chance to organize this, the international body would not know that, hey, that they can do it. Now they're saying, this is a destination for World Table Tennis. Yes, certainly, and that is what um, the Chief Executive Officer, of course, of ITTF's team, Danton, um, uh, talked about. He talked about the quality of organization mm. that has continued to improve That's annually. Right. It, it's not, it wasn't just talking about the quality of the players, but the quality of the organization that continued to improve annually. Mm. And of course, like Dayton, Mike Brown as well, Louis ITTF with Shiana, and of course, Africa Development Co uh, Coordinator yep. described uh, this year's Nigeria Open as a good advertisement for mm. um, table tennis in Africa. That's right. And, um, a whole lot of things, you know. He said I something. spoke to Michael Brown when he was here, mm. and he says, Look, he has interacted with most of the international players that all of them cannot wait to come to Nigeria and they even want to come back. And I'm sure with this testimony they has given to the world body, that's why they're saying, Aside the Nigeria Open, we'll take another competition to Nigeria. I mean, this is the Nigerian challenge, they mm. should bring the world tour to Nigeria. That's right, we are holding a challenge, mm. you know, see master challenge. That's now, right, bring the world tour to Nigeria. I was there. I I cover the event and uh, yes, certainly everything cannot be 100%, but yeah. it's a good advertisement the, for sports in Nigeria. That's what Michael said, and the fans play their part. Certainly. Awesome. And you know the funny thing? That's myth of the fact that if the stadium or the arena is not thrown open, <laughs> that fans on coming no. was rubbish this no. year because they had to pay. Yeah. Maybe a token, but they had to pay. But because every if they don't day, pay, you wouldn't even have where to keep them. Exactly. Mm. Every day from Wednesday to uh, Sunday, it was a full house at the indoor spot of the uh, Teslim Balogun Stadium, and mm. it was awesome. So, organization, yes, it can be better. Yeah. It can be better because, yes, one or two persons complained, but it can actually be better. But I feel that this is huge. I feel that um, Nigeria has pretty much shown, as I said it on that medium one time, I said Nigeria has pretty much shown that we can. Uh, organize and, of course, host international competition. We hosted um, two FIFA World Cups. In Nigeria, mm. we hosted it well. Mm. We've hosted the All African Games as well. We actually be there to host the Commonwealth Games that we mm. didn't win. Glasgow mm. actually mm. won that one. That shows that we can be organized. Now, it has to cut across, it has to trickle down to those that are at the helm of the affairs. We should start doing things right so that these things, this international competition can get to Nigeria. Nigeria can be attracted to the international bodies and, of course, they can host the best of competition in Africa, and in then, Nigeria. And then our players get more. Motivated, mm. they gain ex experience exposure. playing international uh, uh, players, gain good exposure, and give our organizers, uh, our administrators, more reasons to value the sport. And who knows? Sponsorship comes into it, and they will find ways to even make money for the country through table tennis. That's what they're doing in China, Germany, France, Sweden, even England with table tennis. Yes, 